Welcome to Guide Yoga, my friends. This yoga flow is perfect to do in the morning when you are not fully woken up yet. So we will start slowly and little by little awaken each and every layer of your body. Gently activate, lengthen and help you increase the energy and feel great during the day. We'll begin the practice in a comfortable seated position. So you can cross your ankles right in front of you. And if this is not um, too comfortable yet, you can bring the block and bring the block under the hips or a couple of blankets, trying to lower the knees relative to the hips. Let the thighs be heavy. You can bring the palms on top of the knees, rotate the palms to face up and close the eyes, lengthen through the heart, lengthen th through the crown of the head, relax your shoulders and taking a moment to connect to your body, connect to the present moment. Taking a moment to be grateful for this opportunity to practice and dedicate some time to yourself. Allowing yourself not to think about any issues, any problems, anything that needs to be taken care of. And slowly begin shifting your focus to your breath. Feeling your chest expand as you inhale, your belly expand, and exhale, emptying the belly, the chest is gently dropping. And keep breathing at your own pace. Observing each and every inhale, each and every exhale. Noticing if there are any pauses between the inhales and exhales. Noticing maybe your inhales are a little shorter than your exhales or the opposite. Observing if the chest equally expands through the front, through the sides, and through the back as you inhale. Or you breathe just with the front side. Trying to send the air in four directions. Send the air to the lower back, your belly, to the pelvic floor. With each and every exhale, relaxing your face muscles, your jaw, your lips. And when you're ready, gently opening your eyes and bring your arms up through the sides, lengthen and visualize your arms are moving through water and the water is resisting and you feel a nice activation in the arms. Exhale down, connecting to each and every move. Inhale up, exhale down. Engage through the pelvic floor, gently draw the pubic bone towards the ribs but don't round your lower back. Inhale up and now exhale. Rotate the left ribs to the right side, twisting, reaching the palms to the floor. Twist. Inhaling, lifting the arms, lengthen. And exhale, twist to the opposite. Finding the movement first with the right ribs, reaching to the left. Inhale, rising up, lengthen. Exhale, rotating to the right. Inhale, lifting the arms up, lengthen, rotating to the left. One more time. Inhale, lifting the arms up, lengthen, and exhale to the right. And now bring the weight towards the right palm and shift the weight to the knees, to the right shin, and lift the hips, and lift the left arm up. Find your front line stretch. Stretch to the front of the hips through your belly. And exhaling, lowering the hips down. Lifting the arms up, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the left. 
Inhale, slowly begin lifting your right arm up, shift the weight to the front, towards the knees, and stretch through the front of the hips, lift the arm up, find the stretch through your belly, through your heart, and exhaling, slowly sinking the hips down, and rotating the chest back to the front, again lifting the arms up, interlace the fingers, rotate the palms to face the ceiling, and stretch through the fingers, push them to the ceiling, and draw your shoulders down as if you're trying to squeeze your forearms towards one another. And I begin drawing the pubic bone towards the ribs, rounding your back, tucking the chin and reaching the palms away from you. And send the area between the shoulder blades to the back of the room. Inhaling, lifting, lengthening through the heart. And exhaling, rounding. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. One more time, lift. Exhale, reach the arms to the right and draw the knees to the floor, root ball, sit bones towards the floor. Inhale and exhale, rotate your left armpit to the floor and push the palms away and circle the toes. So through the center all the way to the left and now rise up, stack the shoulders, reach the fingertips away and root your right sit bone down. Inhale, rise up, release the hold on the fingertips very slowly you can play with opening and closing like as if you're clapping activating your wrist the forearms waking in the palms the fingers draw your shoulders down and exhale shake and kind of throw the arms down up and down up and down up and down and you can add big 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 circles waking up your shoulders and now reversing the movement. Adding your forearms. And then your wrist, create the fists. Now bring your right palm to the floor, lift the left arm up and lengthen and reach the arm to the right. And now press palm to push yourself off and move to the left. Lengthen through the right, reach the right knee down. Push with the left palm and keep moving. Working on the elasticity of our body. Trying to teach our body to move easily, smoothly, like the water. Try teach it not to get stuck in our poses, but be able to get out of them very very lightly. And slowly return to neutral, begin folding down over the front thigh and bring the right shin slightly forward and observe how you feel on the outside of your right hip today. Now bring the palms to the floor, lift the elbows and as you lift the elbows and straighten the arms, roll the biceps out and lift through the heart. Exhale, push the floor away from you and begin drawing the pubic bone towards ribs, rounding your back, tucking the chin. Inhale, find a nice arch and exhale, draw the pubic bone towards ribs as you press the floor away from you, rounding. One more time, inhale, lift and exhale, round. Inhale, return to neutral, bring your left palm to the center and open your chest, reach your right arm to the right side. And exhale, cross it over all the way to the left, as, as far left as you can, and feel a nice stretch on the right side. Inhale, open, rotate to the right. Exhale, cross it over and reach to the left. Inhale, twist. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, twist and observe what's happening in your lower back. Is it slowly waking up? Do you feel some layers stretching and exhale down? 
Inhale, open the heart. Bring your right palm to the floor and now lift. And maybe you will feel a little more light in this uh, pose, stretch through the front of the body. And exhaling slowly, sinking the hips down. And now change the cross of your legs. Lifting through the heart. And when you're ready, bring the left shin slightly forward and fold over the left shin. Breathe into the left hip. Breathe into the low back, the pelvic floor. Let your belly expand. Inhale, lift the elbows, and again begin finding your arch first. Send the sit bone, the tailbone back, straight through the front. And now exhale, push the floor away and draw the pubic bone towards the ribs, rounding your back and tucking the chin. Inhale, lift through the heart. And exhale, find the movement in your hip joint, rounding. Inhale, lift through the heart, lengthen. And exhale, round. One more time, inhale, lengthen, exhale, round. You'll return to neutral. Bring your right palm to the center and reach your left arm back. Open the heart and roll the right bicep out. Try not to lock the elbow. Breathe. And now we'll reach your left arm up to the ceiling and circle it all the way to the right side. Keep rooting the left sit bone and observe a nice stretch coming from the hip bone, even from the glute, through the left side, through the shoulder, arm, all the way to the wrist. Inhale, rise up and twist and open. And now reach up to the ceiling, circle down, lengthen. Inhale, up and open. And observe, maybe this side feels a little bit more intense, more sensations. Inhale, up, twist, and exhale. Lengthen, root the left seat bone to the floor. One more time, inhale, open. Exhale, lower the left palm down and shift the hips forward to the shin or to both knees. Lift the hips and stretch through the front. Observe the sensations and exhale slowly, lower the hips down. Extend the left leg and you can take a moment to relax the knee. And lower your left sit bone, keeping the left knee bent. Flex the foot, dig the heel into the mat as if you're trying to make a hole in the floor. And that will help you to engage the back of your leg. You will, my calf is really engaged, the hamstring is strong, even the inner thigh. And now as you dig the heel in, rotate the knee and the foot out and back to center. And as you do it, don't let the sit bone peel off the mat. So we're trying to move the thigh bone independent of our hip. You can even bring the palms to the hip and don't allow the hip to move. And keep pushing the heel in to the mat. Begin moving it to the left and back to center. To the left, back to center. To the left, back to center. To the left, back to center. One more time, to the left back to center, and now slowly begin folding down. Keep the knee bent, keep the foot flexed, keep pushing the heel into the mat, and fold. Don't let the knee go inward. You can help yourself with the thumb to roll the thigh bone out as you fold down. Maybe it's not going to be deep, that's fine. Just observe what's happening in your inner thigh. Keep both sit bones on the mat. And now begin moving your torso towards the left thigh. Again, keep still um, keeping the knee bent. And as you sink towards the thigh with the belly, observe what's happening in your lower back, maybe a little more to the right side. You can even massage this area, uh, kind of sliding the tissues back and forth, especially the bony part. Letting your right thigh stay on the floor. And from here, begin um, exp 
exploring the extension of the leg. Push the heel away from you and fold deeper. And now push the heel away from you and fold deeper. And wherever you are, maybe you, are, you were here and now you are here and this is perfect. Maybe you went all the way down and now breathe into the lower back, or especially on the right side. Breathe into the right side of the waist, into the right ribs. Feel this area stretching from the inside and out. Engage the glutes. Lift the left kneecap up. Engage the quadricep. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, bring your left forearm to the floor and now circle the right arm to the right. Rotate the bicep up to the ceiling. Bring your arm all the way up. Lengthen, reach the palm up and feel already the stretch beginning to happen. And now project the arm to the left. Maybe you can touch the foot, maybe not, wherever you are. Maybe you can bring your left armpit all the way towards the knee. Stay here and breathe. Try not to close the chest. Keep your shoulders stacked if possible. Wherever you are, this is your expression of the pose. Breathe into the side body. And now slowly begin rising up. Bring your right palm to the floor. Bring the weight towards the right shin, the knee and the left foot. Lift the hips and stretch through the front of the hips. Observe the sensations, leaning back. And draw the pubic bone towards the ribs. Focus on stretching here in this area. You can even help yourself to stretch with the palms, with the fingers. Inhale and exhale, slowly lowering the hips down. And now lift the right knee. Bring the sole of the foot to the floor and press the elbow into the knee, knee into the elbow and lengthen here. Observe what's happening in your inner right thigh. Maybe you can add a bind. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. And now gently drop the right knee down. Be careful with the knee. The foot stays outside of the right hip. And now bend the left knee, bringing the shin, bringing the sole of the foot towards the top of your thigh. And from here, begin folding down. So it feels a little awkward. So maybe you would need to use the left palm for balance. Fold and observe what's happening in your outer right hip. Maybe a little back. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up, and now lift the right knee, extend the right leg out, let go any tension in the knee, and the left um, shin stays on the mat. Keep the right knee bent, dig the heel into the mat. If the uh, mat is kind of sliding for you, bring the heel on the floor. Push the heel into the mat, flex the foot. You are trying to drag the earth towards the hips and you feel a nice engagement. Engage the glute, the calf muscle, the hamstring is engaging. And as you do it, flex, keep flexing the foot and roll the knee of the foot out and back to center. And observe, maybe this leg is a little bit more mobile. Like this side has a larger range of motion. Observe, left. Pushing the heel in. And now out. Out. And in. Out. And in. And now, and now slowly begin folding down. However low you can go, maybe you are here, maybe you are here. Keep pushing the heel in. And don't let the knee collapse. And now as you stay lower, begin moving your torso towards the right thigh. Compress the belly to the thigh. Stay here and breathe into the left side of the lower back. Into the left ribs. And keep rotating the ribs to the right. Keep the left sit bone on the mat. 
Dig in the right heel, in. And now you can explore extending the leg. So you're pushing the heel away from you and folding lower. And now pushing your waist, straightening the leg, folding no lower wherever you are. This is your expression. And breathe into the left side. Inhale, slowly begin rotating the chest to face the front and bring your right forearm to the floor. If you're not able to do it, maybe just the palm. And now reach your left arm back, extend. Roll the bicep up and now reach the palm to the right side. And you should already feel a nice stretch on the left side. Keep drawing the sit bone, the knee to the floor. Keep your neck long. Keep your right leg engaged. Wherever you are, maybe you can reach a little more, lengthen, 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 and touch the toes. Use the belt, and now focus on stacking your left shoulder over the right, and it's going to give you a little more sensations here. Breathe. Engage the core, inhale, press through the right palm to rise up slowly and bring in your left palm to the floor, bring the weight towards the right palm, lift the hips, bring the weight towards the left shin, the right foot and you can circle the right arm to the left, up and back and uh, draw the pubic bone towards the ribs and observe how it feels at the front of the hip. Circle the right arm to the left and down. Lift the left knee and slowly and bring the left arm to the inner side of the thigh. Push the shoulder into the knee, knee into the shoulder and find a little leverage to twist. Keep your right leg straight and maybe you can bind. Breathe, observe the sensations. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. And now drop the left knee down to the floor. Keep your foot to the outside of the hip, both sit bones are on the mat. And now bring the sole of the right foot towards the top of your left thigh and fold. Down, you can use the right palm to not allow to fold just to the right side of the hip. Stay on both sit bones and compress the belly towards the shin, towards the thighs. Breathe into your lower back. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, return to seated. And now lift the right knee and lift the left and begin moving back and forth, waking up your hips. One by one. Breathe, observe the sensations. And now keep your feet open where they are, draw the knees out and begin holding onto the feet and use the strength of your arms to pull yourself closer and while you do it, push the edges of the feet into the mat and kind of rip the mat apart. And it's going to engage the outer thighs and it should help you relax in your inner thighs as you fall down and observe a nice stretch on the inner thighs. Keep ripping the mat apart, draw the knees down and use the bicep strength. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, gently release. And now lift the knees and you have to connect to your core and the pelvic floor. You can walk the feet in to rise up into the squatted position, into your malasana. So maybe the inner thighs are not ready to sink all the way down, so you can gently move wherever you are. Maybe you're here today. Start here and begin moving, and maybe you'll go a little lower. Extend the right leg and lift the right toes and sink. Stretch the inner thigh, the hamstring. You can point and flex the foot. Direct the right toes to the front and lower the foot, lift the hips and switch. Bend the right knee, sink and allow the left toes to lift. 
If the right heel wants to be off the mat, that's completely fine. And sink, stretch in the inner left thigh, the hamstring. And now reach the left toes to the floor and lift the hips and begin moving from side to side, keeping your feet parallel. Waking up your thighs, the glutes, the inner thighs. And try to stay low. Breathe. You can keep moving in this variation or you can extend the arms to the front. And now as you move to bend the right knee and bring the weight towards the right palm, the left palm is reaching past your right heel and you twist. And now you switch and twist and switch and twist and observe what's happening in your upper back and twist switch and twist with the left palm you press into the floor and the you press with the right palm and it helps you to twist a little deeper and two more times left and twist right and twist and return to neutral from here extend the legs and you're going to with your arms extended you're going to bend the elbows and reach the nose in between the palms and extend Engage in our upper body, arms, shoulders. Keep your neck long. Engage your whole soles of the feet, rooting them into the mat. Walk the palms slightly in, bring your left palm to the center. And now keep the hips in one plane with the heel. So sometimes when we straighten the legs, we do that, the hips move. So we want to keep them in one line and engage the quadriceps, the glutes and circle the right arm up and back and try not to twist the hips, keep the hips neutral and all the sensations will go to the, to the middle back. Breathe. Slowly lower your right palm down and switch. Don't allow the hips to move. Inhale and exhale, slowly lower your left arm down. Begin heel toeing your feet in into Malasana. And we are going to play with moving from our wide-legged Navasana into chair. So we are rising up into a wide-legged uh, chair, lift through the heart. You can even add five pulses here. One, two, three, four, five. Awakening the back line, activating. And now lowering down, rolling to the hips and lifting the feet. Half boat. One, two, three, four, five. Lower the feet, connect to your core and rise up. Maybe add pulses. One, two, three, four, five, slowly descending the hips down and lifting the feet, connecting your inner thighs, squeeze one, two, three, four, five, lower the feet. And if, if it's not happening the first time, that's fine. Connect to your core and rise up and observe where you feel weak. One, two, three, four, Five, very slowly, sink, 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 sink. Lower the hips down and lift the knees, lift the feet. Compress the belly to the thighs. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. Rising up and pulse. One, two, three, four, Five, slowly squatting, descending the hips back, lifting the feet. One, connect to your core. Two, three, four, and five. And now tap the right toes to the floor. One, and back. And switch left and back. Two, and compress the belly to the thigh. Three, four, five. And you can add arms. One, two, three, four, coordinating the moves, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10. And you can extend the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower the legs, cross the ankles, shift the weight to the front, and now step your feet back into your plank creation with the top of the toes on the mat and shift the hips back into your downward dog. Inhale, bend the knees and pass the knees to the floor as you project the heels back. One, and observe what's happening in the front of the ankles. Two, and extend. One, two, extend. One, two, extend. One, two, extend. And slowly step, walk, or jump to the front of the mat. Inhaling, lifting the chest halfway up. Exhaling, folding down and let your head be heavy, your shoulders be heavy. You can swing from side to side, gentle walk here as you twist, shifting the weight to the balls of the feet, connecting to the sensations. Keeping your knees micro bent, engage the core, inhale. Exhale, scoop the pubic bone. Direct it to the ribs, feel the core engaged, and slowly begin rising up to standing. Finding yourself in your mountain pose and observe. And observe the sensations in your body, the body, the layers, slowly awakening. When you're ready, inhale, lift the arms up and lengthen through the front. You can just stretch the front line. You can add a deeper back bend if you wish. It's your practice. And exhaling slowly, folding down, micro bending the knees if needed when you're folding down and you're standing forward, fold. In here, lift the chest halfway up. And when you lift halfway up, you can play with lifting the toes and straightening the legs. And exhale, fold down and lift the right knee, reach the heel to the glute, fold, compress, and extend the right leg. Bend the left, reach the heel to the glute, and fold a little deeper, lift your right toes. Lower your left foot down, squat as low as you can, press the palms into the mat. And now shoot the legs back into plank, and stabilize your core, don't let your hips swing. And now bring the tops of the feet on the mat, Squeeze your inner thighs, press the floor away from you, roll the biceps out, and pulse. One, two, extend. One, two, extend. One, two, extend. One, two, extend. And now transition into your tabletop with the tops of the feet on the mat. Keep your knees hovering. Push the floor and pass the knees towards one another. One, two, engage your inner thighs. Glutes, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly begin extending the legs. Keep the tops of the feet on the mat, lengthening your back, and reach the tops of the ankles to the floor, stretch, and begin shifting the heels back, returning to your downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, step it to the front of the mat. Drop your back, heel down. Inhale, rising up for your warrior one. And exhale, frame the foot. Step it back to plank and find your knees, chest, and chin or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, lifting through the heart. Exhale, curl the toes. Lift the right leg and shift the hips back into one leg, downward dog. And pulse your right leg up one two, three, four, five. Bend the knee, bring the knee to the chest and step the foot between the palms. Drop your back heel down, inhale, rising up, lifting through the heart, warrior one. Exhale, frame the foot, step it back to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, begin curling the toes, lift the right leg, shift the hips back up. One leg downward dog and pulse your right leg up. One, 
squares the hips two, three, four, five. Bend the knee, bring the knee to the chest, step the foot between the palms. Drop your back heel down and lift the arms up. Find your warrior one, lift through the heart. Lower the arms to the lower back, interlace the fingers, open the heart, slide your palms down your back thighs, you can gauge the core of the glutes. Exhale, fall to the floor, and find your humble warrior, reach the palms to the front of the room. Inhale, rise up, find your back bend, and exhale, folding down. Inhale, rising up, find your back bend. Exhale, folding down, reach the palms to the front. And now press through the front, through the ball of the right foot, and extend your right leg. And exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. And now gaze to the front. And release the hold on the palms. Reach the palms to the front. Lift your back, heel up. And just pulse the right thigh here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Direct the knee in the direction of the toes. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the palms to the floor. Transition into one legged plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Lift through the heart. Remember, you can modify at any time. Curl the toes, lift your right leg up, bend the knee, and cross it over all the way to the left. And now lift the right arm up and lift the hips. Transition into your wild thing pose. Lift, observe the sensations. Inhale, and slowly lower the hips down and step your right foot to the, to the outside of the left thigh. And from here, you can bend the left knee and kind of do this uh, half squat. One, sinking the hips to the floor. Two, three, four, and five. And transition back into your one-legged plank or regular plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, shift the hips back up. Downward dog and observe the energy, observe the heat, the awakening of your body. Inhale, lift your left leg up, bend the knee, step it to the front of the room. Drop your back heel down. Inhale, lift the arms up, find your warrior one, stretch through the front. Exhale, frame the foot. Step it back to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, curl the toes. Lift the left leg up and shift the hips back. One legged downward dog and pulse. One, two, square the hips. Three, four, five. Bend the knee. Inhale, exhale. Step the foot to the front. Drop your back heel down. Inhale, rise up. Warrior one, lift. Exhale, frame the foot. Step your left foot back to plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift through the heart. Exhale, curl the toes. Lift the left leg up and shift the hips back. One legged dog. And pause the left leg up. One. Breathe. Two. Three. Four. And five. Bend the knee. Compress the knee, the thigh to your belly. Shift the shoulders forward. Place the foot between the palms. Drop your back. Heel down. Inhale. Lift the arms up. Warrior one. Lower the arms down until it's the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades. <coughs> Exhaling, folding down, humble warrior, reach the chest to the floor, squeeze the shoulder blades and reach the palms to the front. Press to the front foot, inhale, rise up, find your back bend. And exhale, folding down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale up, exhale, fold, squeeze the shoulder blades, and now press through the ball of the left foot, and extend the left leg, exhale, bend, bend stay low with your chest, inhale, extend, exhale, bend, inhale, extend, exhale, bend, inhale, extend, exhale, bend, 
Inhale, extend, exhale, bend, and now slowly lifting the chest and lift your back heel up. Project the heel to the back of the room and reach your arms to the front. And now pass the left thigh. One, two, three, four, five. Shoulders away from me is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the palms to the floor. Step your left foot. Transition into one-legged plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift through the heart. Exhale, curl the toes. Lift the left leg, keep your core engaged, and now cross it over to the right, bend the knee, and then cross, step it to the, towards the right palm, and lift the hips, stretch through the front. Find your one thing. Inhale and exhale slowly. Step in your left foot to the front of your right thigh. And maintain the right knee, you do this little pulses, touching the hip to the floor, squeezing inner thighs, one, and lift, two, <coughs> lift, three, lift, four, lift, and five, lift, and now transition back. And bring the tops of the foot, the tops of the feet to the mat, instead of your toes curled, shifting the hips back and bending the knees, squeezing inner thighs. And now extend the legs back to plank. Exhale, bend the knees, shift the hips back. Extend the legs back to plank. Lengthen, shift the hips back. Inhale, extend, shift the hips back. Exhale, inhale, extend, shift the hips back. And as you stay here, bring your right heel to the glute and down, left heel up and down. Squat a little lower. Right heel up and down, left heel up and down, right heel up and down. Keep your core engaged, left heel up and down. And now jump up to bring the soles of the feet back down to the floor. Inhale and exhale, lower the knees down. And rise up to sit on your heels. And if you use the block in this pose, grab your block. You can sit on top of the heels or with the feet, the heels outside of the hips, taking the variation that works for you today. Draw the pubic bone towards the ribs and drag the knees to the front. Push the shins into the mat. And even here, you should feel lots of sensations if you do all the activation. Maybe you can lower down to your elbows. Inhale, slowly rising up. As you sit tall, cross your right arm under the left. Maybe you can interlace the palms. Lift the elbows and reach the palms away from you. Kind of squeeze your forearms. And as you do it, observe what's happening. And you can play with rounding your back, tucking the elbows and chin down to the chest and reach the palms away. And inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Lift, exhale, round. Inhale, lift, exhale, release. And now cross the opposite way. Press the palms together, squeeze the forearms together, lift the elbows and project the forearms away from you. And as you squeeze the forearms into one another, you should feel interesting sensations on the outside of your shoulders, maybe the back. Inhale, find your Arch, lift through the heart, lift the elbows and send your palms back. And exhale, draw the pubic bone to his ribs, round in your back and reach the forearms to the floor, tuck in the chin. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Returning to neutral, exhaling, slowly releasing the arms. And you can roll the shoulders. And taking a moment to observe the energy in your body.
the awakening of all major areas of the body. And when you're ready, bring the palms to the heart. Taking a moment to be grateful for everything your body was able to accomplish today, for all the tension and stress it was able to release, for all the energy it was able to cultivate, for all the space it was able to create in your heart and your mind. Thank you guys for joining me for this fun yoga flow. I hope you enjoyed the sequence. You're slowly woken up and then energize the body. I normally do not sweat. I don't know why, but this made me sweat a lot. My chest is all <laughs> sweaty. So I hope you broke up a sweat and you cultivated lots of energy that will help you to go through your busy day inspired, energized, and be able to Stay connected to your body and to the present moment. Be aware of your thoughts and emotions. Please let me know in the comments how you feel. Share with your friends. Press the like button. And to support the creation of these free videos, please join me at Gayatri.yoga, where you can get access to a full library of exclusive members-only flows until we practice again. Namaste.